Nothing says summer like a blueberry pie that make it extra special. I often make mine with a lattice top, which not only allows you to take a peek at the colorful filling inside, but it also acts as a vent for steam escape. It may look complicated, this particular lattice, but I'll share my trick for making it as easy as pie. First, the pot brise. Three and three quarters cups of all-purpose unbleached flour and one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar and one and a half teaspoons of salt. So the first thing I do is mix up my dry ingredients by pulsing. That's called pulsing up and down, up and down. And then you can add your butter. Three sticks of butter and the butter has been neatly cut into quarter inch cubes. This makes it very easy to get the right texture of pastry by preparing your butter like this. And it's icy, icy cold. The golden rule of pot brise is make it cold. Everything, the flour, the butter, the ice water, and then pulse. And then you add a half a cup of ice water. And notice how I'm pulsing and adding the ice water sort of on the outside of the feed tube. There, I think we have our pastry. Take it off and with this much, I'm going to divide it into three equal discs of dough. You can use your plastic to pull the pastry together. And if it's a warm day, work as quickly as you can. Do not let this pastry get warm. It will not be the kind of flaky pie crust that you want. So there, just place them on a baking sheet and put them in the refrigerator for at least an hour. So now for the filling, which is three pints of blueberries, the zest of one lemon, and also the juice of a lemon. The combination of lemon and blueberry is just spectacular. Very good for you. Half a cup of sugar, only a half a cup. Can't complain that it's too sweet. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch will be very helpful in thickening the juices that come out of the berries. And a traditional spice is cinnamon for blueberry. Just a quarter of a teaspoon though. You can stir this up and a little sprinkling of salt will also be nice for the filling. And two tablespoons of butter, just cut the butter into little pieces and stir this all together. The butter helps enrich the juices that are being thickened by the cornstarch. It's a whole little method. And this is ready to put into the pie. So now I'm going to roll out one disc of the pastry to fit the bottom of the nine inch glass pie plate. So I think that is a very nice size for the pie plate. If you have difficulty lifting up your crust, the easiest I find is just to roll it on the pin like this and unroll it into your dish. And then don't use your sharp fingernails if you have them I don't have them, but use the back of your fingers like this to press this into the dish. And then what I do is I put this right back into the fridge and chill it while I'm rolling out the rest of the topping. And now for the lattice top of the pie, just roll your dough into a square approximately 11 inches. And we're going to cut this into strips. Big pie day, you don't have to go to the gym. Get lots of upper body exercise. And you can transfer this piece onto a parchment lined baking sheet. There. And get that into the fridge while you roll out the third. So here we have our chilled dough and you cut this into one inch strips. There. And save your scraps. You might need them for something else. So you'll cut this piece and your second piece into the one inch strips. So now you're going to place this on top of two. You're going to lift two. So this is the beginning of your lattice. 
then you're going to go under it's basically basket weaving 101 and the colder your dough is by the way the easier it is to weave so there now get that right back into the refrigerator chill it then you'll put it on top of your pie so now get your gorgeous blueberry filling into your bottom crust now brush the edge of the pastry with egg yolk this is your glue it's going to let the lattice adhere right to the top of the pie now this we've trimmed the edges just lift this right on top of the entire blueberry pie and press all the way around the edges and then with a pair of scissors just trim about a quarter of an inch from the edge of your pie plate so now take your fingertips and tuck this under just make sure it's really sealed and then brush with the same egg yolk to give a beautiful beautiful golden brown color to the lattice and I'm also going to sprinkle with sanding sugar to give an added crunch to this pie now your oven should be preheated to 425 degrees put the pie right in and bake for 20 minutes and then reduce the heat to 375 and continue baking until the filling is bubbling and the crust is evenly browned 60 to 75 minutes so this is what the pie looks like when it comes out of the oven once you've mastered the technique of weaving the pastry dough feel free to think outside the box by varying the width of the strips the edges can be ruffled or straight the choice is yours the pie is beautiful enjoy